the game, right? Right. Only one more to go. Okay, here we go. One more. One more. Hurry and throw at Mia. I'm next. <sighs> now I have to start all over again. One more. One more. Uh. Rats, I almost did it. My turn. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Philly. Uh, Emma? Maybe if you slow down, you won't keep missing. I like to take careful aim. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Hey, guys. It's mail carrier Ethan. He's making a delivery. Being a mail carrier looks like so much fun. Yeah. Everybody's so happy when they get a package or letter. I'd love to be a mail carrier. Let's go on a mail carrier adventure. Let's go. Okay. Woohoo! Tigger, tigger, do. Uh. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone. really sprung. There's our mail truck. It's time to make some deliveries. This says we have four deliveries to make today. Ooh, I can't wait to get started. But where's Emma? Come on, guys. I'm ready to roll. Comes a mail truck, Bernard. This is the place. Our first delivery. Hi, y'all. I'm so glad you're here. I told Bernard we can't go to the Spring Fling Winga thing until my package arrives. Spring Fling Winga, what what? Spring Fling Winga Ding. There's games and egg decorating, and everyone is invited. That sounds Emma amazing. Y'all should come. It's gonna start real soon. All right. Yes, yeah. We better hurry and get these packages delivered so we can go. We do get some spring showers now and then. That's why I ordered an umbrella to take along this year. Um, these look like the flowers in the meadow. This must be your package. Uh, there you go. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. See you at the Spring Fling wing -a ding Goodbye! Bye-bye! And thank you! Now, let's see our new umbrella. Oh, my! This isn't what I ordered. Oh. Package for Mr. Frog and Joyce. See you at the Spring Fling wing -a ding Goodbye! But, Emma... Shouldn't we slow down and make sure that the package is... No time! The fling is gonna start real soon! Close the doors! Bye! Thank you! Daddy, that's not what we ordered.
murdered. <laughs> Definitely not. Sure, we delivered all of our packages. Hmm. Colby's right. We still have one more package to deliver. But we're here now. Let's just enjoy the fun. We can deliver that package later. <laughs> Sorry, your hats weren't delivered. I didn't get mine either. An umbrella instead of a hat? Oh dear. And instead of an umbrella, I got this hat. I'm afraid you're not the only one who had problems with the delivery today. <clears throat> hey, folks, I know it's about time for our annual egg decorating event, but, well, I'm afraid the eggs were never delivered. Oh, oh my. Instead, I got these flower crowns. delivered the wrong things to everyone. We should have slowed down and been more careful. Emma, the eggs must be in this last package. Of course, the one we didn't deliver. I was in such a hurry to get here that I made a bunch of mistakes. But now I'm going to make things right. Here are your eggs, Mr. Weaver. And these belong to you. <laughs> and this is yours. And this is for you. I'm so sorry I gave you all the wrong packages. From now on, I'm going to try to be more patient and careful. Well, thank you for apologizing. And now that we have the eggs, let's start decorating. Taking it slow isn't always easy to do. Sometimes it's better to walk than to run. You'll make less mistakes and you'll still have fun. It's best to slow down, so from now on I'll keep patient and take my time. If you hurry, you just might find you've made a mistake, so slow down. Your time. Being patient and taking it slow isn't always easy to do. We know, we know. Sometimes it's better to walk than to run. You'll make less mistakes and you'll still have fun. Gather round, folks. Now that the eggs are all decorated. It's time for the sensational spring fling wing a ding spoon and egg race. Yay! Oh, hey! Yay! On your mark, get set. Wait, aren't you going to do the egg race, Emma? Oh no, she was so busy helping everyone else, she didn't have time to decorate one for herself. It's okay. I can wait until next time, now that I know how to slow down and be patient. Or you could just use this extra one that I made. Oh, thank you, Andy. It's beautiful. All right. Ready, set, go! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I just have to get one more beanbag in the bucket. Did I win? Then we can start a new game and we can all play. I can hurry. No, don't. It's better to slow down and do it right. But Emma, don't you want to play? Sure, but I can be patient. It's not easy, but I can do it. Okay, here I go. Nice and slow. Lucky is the expert at doing things nice and slow. Yes, he is. 
vegetables on a farm. Farming is a lot of hard work. Yeah, but you can have fun on a farm, too. One time, I went on a hayride. You rode hay? Well, kind of. You sit in a wagon full of hay, and a tractor pulls you around. Cool. I'd love to go on a hayride. Me, too. Me, too. Yeah. Then let's do it. Drive the tractor. Yeehaw! A farm adventure! Woohoo! Yeehaw! Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. Exploring someplace new. the horse. Ah! Yeah. That's Marge the cow. She's just saying hello. Let's say hello back. Cow style. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what animal is that, Farmer Eddie? That's no animal. That's thunder. And thunder means rain. Not today it doesn't. Today we're going on a hayride. Let's go! Uh-oh. I felt a drop. No! It can't rain! Ugh. I think it is. You guys better get into the barn. I'll take the tractor behind the barn where it's dry. To the barn! Come on! Hurry! Wait! Maybe it won't rain that hard. Maybe it's just... Whoa! Wow, look at it. It's really raining. Glad we're not out there. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Hen. We'll play on the other side of the barn. This is cool. It's not cool. It's just... Stuck in a barn with nothing to do. Our plan was to go on a hayride. Guess we have to change our plan. But the hayride is going to be so fun. What's fun in a barn? Cool! This hat is just like the one you put on the snowman last winter. We should build another snowman. Snowman? There's no snow for a snowman, Kobe. There may be no snow, but there's hay for a hay man. Awesome. Great idea, Kobe. Yeah, great idea. A hay 
Hey, Marge. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Eat up. <laughs> we forgot someone. <laughs> and hay is for horses, too. <laughs> Take your plan and change it. It's your day, so rearrange it. Let's kick out some dust. <laughs> you made the plan, you can exchange it. You can take your plan and change it. It's your day, so rearrange it. Go on and have fun. Scientific fact, rain helps plants to grow. The animals love it, too. Uh. <laughs> I'm so happy we got our hayride. But playing in the barn was really great, too. We did some things we've never done before. <laughs> like dancing with baby chicks. Kick your soccer ball around some more. Okay, but we don't have to stand in a circle. Let's try doing it a different way. I think we still need a ball, though. Where is it? Oh, Lucky has it. I'll get it. That's okay. Don't wake him. We'll just have to change our plans. So what do you want to do? Hmm. 
Let's see. Maybe. Maybe what? Maybe catch. Hey. You're it. Can't catch me. Here I come. Here I come. Yay. Go on. Let's go. Sounds fun. I'm in. Huh? But wait. I didn't finish my story yet. This adventure will give you even more stuff to add to your story. Yay. More stuff. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the first annual Parade in the Meadow! I love parades! Me too! Wish we could be in it! Starring our special guests, Princess Mia and her charming friends! Awesome! Cool! We could each make our own float by decorating a trailer! Yes! I'm gonna decorate mine! Tessa style. Mine will be Steady Eddie Freddy. Great. Let's do it. Hmm. Where should I go? Snow Globia. I'll find some cool decorations here. <laughs> Jungle Land. Awesome. for my country float. The beach! Time to collect seashells! Tessa style! Snow Globia, here I come! But maybe the farm has better decorations. Hmm. <gasps> Fairy tale land, that's the place for me. Princess Mia! So enchanting to see you! How may I help your highness? I have to decorate my float for the big parade in the meadow. Ooh, how royally fun! I know just what you'll need. This is great, Ginger! But I think I need a little something more. Oh, well, of course, your highness. How about... Yeah. The Royal Jubilee! <gasps> Perfect! Nice float, Tessa. I can almost hear the ocean. Thanks. What's on your float? Oh, come and see. <gasps> Seashells. Oh, and starfish. And a sand castle. I should have some of that stuff on my float, too. More is always better. Oh, dear. Wow, it's very... jungly, Eddie. Thanks. I'd like to add just one more thing, but I can't decide. Maybe... a giraffe? It's nice, but you can't really see her head. Right. Sorry, Miss Giraffe! <laughs> it's okay. I like watching parades, too. Hmm, maybe an elephant? Nope, that's not gonna work. Wait, how about a sloth? <sighs> Chicka chicka doo! Love your snowy float, Kobe. Thanks, Mia. I need some snowy stuff on my float, too. Oh. Thanks, Mia. I can't wait for the parade. 
ready to start? And yes, definitely worth the wait. Oh, Eddie, it's so wonderful. I wish I had a sloth on my float. Thanks, see you at the parade. Oh. My float is good, but it needs more stuff. Come on. But uh, your float is so nice, just as it is. Glue it for me, you hate it! about to start. Where's Mia? Oh, there she is. Hello! We're coming! What happened? I don't know. My car just stopped. I think maybe your float is too heavy for your car to pull. There's too much stuff on it. But more is always better. Isn't it? Actually, Princess, I think your float looked just perfect before we added all these things. Oh, maybe you're right. I should have looked at what I had before I added more. You want us to help you put it back the way it was? <gasps> yes! Let's do it! Cake is very nice when you have one yummy slice. But eating too much cake just might make your tummy ache. Too much could be too much. Think before you get more stuff. No need to be selfish. What you have may be enough. Making noise is fun when you jump and skip and run. But making too much noise just might bother and annoy. Too much could be too much. Think before you get more stuff. No need to be selfish. What you have. Can be too much. Think before you get more stuff. No need to be selfish. What you have may be enough. What you have may be enough. Yay! Thanks for helping with my float. I was being kind of selfish, wanting everything on it. To your cars, everyone! The parade's about to begin! Let's go! Woohoo! Chicken, chicken, do! Fabulous float in all of fairy tale land. <laughs> what a fun adventure! Yeah, and I have a great story to tell now. All about a parade that had a farm float, and a jungle float, and a beach float, and a snow float, and a fairy tale float. And all the floats went past a tall tower where a princess was kept by a witch. And there is a dragon, and an ogre, and a... Uh, too much? Yeah. <laughs> You're right. That's a story for another day. Back to the parade. <laughs> I'm going to paint a sparkly princess in a golden dress. I think I'll paint your portrait, Mia. Huh? That means a picture of your face. Ooh, perfect. How about you, Kobe? I'm going to paint a still life, otherwise known as Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Come and play soccer, you guys. Yeah, we need more people to make the team. No thanks, we're painting right now, and... <gasps> This paint is all dried up. Someone didn't put the cap on tight. Someone didn't put the caps on these at all. Rats, you can't paint without paint. Then come and play soccer. No paints needed. No thanks. Let's all do a puzzle instead. I like this one. 
That's my favorite. Huh. This can't be right. Somebody didn't put all the pieces away last time they used it. What? I was in a hurry. I think we all must have been in a hurry when we put stuff away. It's a mess in here. We'll have to clean it up if we want to find the puzzle pieces. Or, instead of playing with the race car puzzle, we could go on a race car adventure. Chica Jiga too. That sounds like fun. Can I be on your pit crew? What does that mean? Race cars need tuned engines, inflated tires, and full gas tanks. That's what the pit crew does. Ooh, I want to be on the pit crew too. Cool. Come on then. Let's go! Awesome! Uh, I'm gonna stay here and look for the rest of the puzzle pieces. Okay, Sophie. We'll help you when we get back. <sighs> hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together, there's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play, we're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun, use our imagination. You could be anyone, in any situation. Hey, hey, come out and play, we're going on an adventure today. <laughs> Go, Kobe! To our pit! It has everything we need to take care of the cars. And they'll take care of the other team's cars. Welcome, racers! To the Radical Rainbow Road Race! Woohoo! Yeah! Each team races four times around the track. Everyone who finishes the race gets to ride the rainbow. Yes! Wow! Let's go! Yeah! Woohoo! Steady Eddie is ready! Head the tube! On your mark! Soon, Mia, and we'll be ready. Right. First pit stop. Here we go. <laughs> this banana gas will keep your cars running super duper fast. Thanks, Mia. This tire has a little hole in it, Eddie. We better change it. That's okay. It's only a little hole, and I'm in a big hurry. Just patch it, uh, with this. Hmm. Thanks. You should take the time to take care of your car, Eddie, or it might stop working. Uh, later. Let's go, Pat.
take care of their cars. Got it. Hi guys. Sorry you didn't finish. We could have finished if we'd taken the time to take care of our cars. Yeah. Do you want to take care of them now? Can we? Sure. And we'll help. Cool. Let's do this. Time to take care of it. Make a mess and have your fun. Just put things back when you are done. It's something special and you love it. Take the time to take care of it. Cause when you want your stuff another day, you can find it and be on your way. Cleaning up goes by so fast and makes the best things last. So have a Welcome back. How was the race? It was awesome! But now we're ready to take the time to take care of our things. We're here to be your cleanup pit crew! Great! Eddie and I will find all the pieces to this treasure chest puzzle. <gasps> hey! You guys! Wanna go on a treasure hunting adventure with us? Sure! Okay! Wait! Wait! <laughs> we'll go right after we finish finding these puzzle pieces. All right, let's clean up. Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> yeah, what an awesome adventure, Eddie. Yeah, awesome. Steady Eddie is always ready to lead an adventure. Whew, that big adventure made me really tired. <laughs> well, not as tired as Lucky. <laughs> What's next, guys? It's Sophie's turn to pick. I was thinking maybe a picnic? Yeah. I love picnics. I am pretty hungry. Great. I'll go get the picnic basket. <laughs> a picnic doesn't sound like a very exciting adventure, does it, Lucky? <laughs> well, maybe it does to you, but everyone else really likes Eddie's adventures. Oh? But maybe I can make today's picnic a big eddy kind of adventure. Thanks, Lucky. That's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> Looks like our picnic is ready. Great. I'm starving. Me too. Come on, we're going on an awesomely amazing picnic. Awesomely amazing? Today we're going to... I mean, we're going to a restaurant. Huh? No, wait. Fairy Tale Land, the most exciting 
place ever for a picnic. Awesome! Cool. Yeah. Zig a dig a do. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. amazing picnic adventure is about to begin. This is a great place, Silky. I've had lots of picnics here. What? You've had lots of picnics here? Uh-huh. It's so nice and quiet. Well, this isn't exactly where we're going to have the picnic. What do you mean, Sophie? This place is too quiet for an awesomely amazing picnic. We're just here to... gonna help us toast the marshmallows, right, LD? Marshmallows? Yum! I love toasting marshmallows! Show them how it's done, LD! <laughs> Toasted to a perfect golden brown. <laughs> <laughs> That's great! But if we aren't eating here, where are we eating? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Oh, what would Eddie do to make this picnic super awesome and amazing? <gasps> I know. Follow me, friends. We're going someplace where no one, not even Eddie, has had a picnic before. Huh? huh? Okay. Sounds fun. Isn't it awesome and amazing? Just like one of your adventures, Eddie. Yeah. It's pretty cool, Sophie. <sighs> cool? It's freezing. Yeah. Are we gonna have a picnic in the snow? Um, no. We're gonna eat the snow. Snow cones, that is. Hi, Mr. Penguin. We'll have six snow cones to go. <laughs> we'll have them for dessert someplace nice and warm. Scientific fact, snow cones melt when they get nice and warm. Uh, of course they do. That's why Mr. Penguin and his snow cone cart are coming along with us. <laughs> Off we go to the most awesomely amazing picnic adventure ever! Cool roar, LD. That was my tummy. Can we please stop and eat now? I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm so hot. But we have to go somewhere exciting for our picnic. I know. Let's ride motorcycles to the marketplace. Huh? about we go to the farm oh, we like it here <laughs> okay we'll eat here it's just I wanted today's picnic to be awesome and amazing <laughs> We have our picnic basket. What should I do? What would Eddie do? Follow me, everyone. We gotta catch that picnic. Let's go! I've heard of 
wants to go, but this is crazy. What do we do, Sophie? I don't know. What should we do, Eddie? Huh? You always know what to do on awesomely amazing adventures, so I've been trying to be just like you. Why do you want to be like me, Sophie? Everyone loves an Eddie adventure. My regular Sophie kind of picnic is never that exciting. We love your Sophie picnic. You always bring the best treats. And everything is just right. Yeah, perfect. Sophie style. You don't ever have to try to be like someone else. We like you just the way you are. Some like it hot. Some like it cold. Some like things quiet. Some like them both. Whatever you like to say or do, it's always right when you're true to yourself. Because you're the best you. Some like to fly high, some like it on the ground, some like things tidy, some like to mess around. Whatever you like to say or do is always right when you're true to yourself. So just remember, be true to yourself, cause you're the best you. Thanks guys, it feels good to know that you like me, just the way I am. Of course. We sure do. Yay, Sophie! You are one of a kind. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. It sure would be nice if we could have one of those Sophie-licious picnics right now. But the monkeys took our food. Hmm. Well, then we'll have to fly over there and get it back. Can you give us a lift, LD? Sure. But... I can only carry two of you. Are you ready for an adventure, Eddie? Steady Eddie is always ready, Sophie. Let's go. We need two snow cones, please. Thanks for helping out, everyone. Next time, I'll just be myself. Trying to act like somebody else is too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Yeah. Whose turn is it to pick what we do now? <laughs> I think Lucky has the right idea. strange activity it's called hopscotch you must be an alien correct one alien two heads cool which is your favorite head question does not compute they don't have a favorite it's like having two legs <laughs> you like them both want to play we thought you'd never ask. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, beep. I saw you with my little eyes. Um, something really cute. Is it a pumpkin? Pumpkins aren't cute. They are if you carve them that way. <laughs> beep, <laughs> beep. Oh, boy. Beep, boop, beep, beep. Oh, boop, beep, boop. Oh, no. Alien down. <laughs> hey, you guys want to play hopscotch now? Sure. But I thought you liked playing I Spy with me. I do, but hopscotch with an alien is pretty awesome, too. Hello? Guys, it's Farmer Jed. Cool. I bet 
he's on his way to set up for a harvest festival somewhere. What's a harvest festival? It's like a big party with hay rides and pumpkins and games and artists and all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I'd love to go to a harvest festival someday. Me too. Yeah, sounds cool. I'd love to show my paintings there someday. Why wait? Let's all go to a harvest festival today. <gasps> Yay, let's do it. Harvest festival! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. to the Harvest Festival, folks. Biggest pumpkin in the world. Make your own apple cider. Rides, games, you name it. If you like fall, we got it all. Biggest pumpkin in the world? <gasps> Woohoo! Can I do my own painting here? <gasps> cool. Artists over that away. Woohoo! Help me make fresh butter out of milk? Sure, sounds fun. All right, woohoo! Ooh, these leaves look so real. <gasps> look at this one, Emma. I love it. I love this one. <gasps> you should do one like this, Emma. Emma? I've got it. I'm going to make a painting of the whole Harvest Festival. Everyone will love it. Yes! It'll be amazing. amazing. <laughs> the cow gives the milk. Then we mix it around in this thing we call a churn. Before long, butter blocks. Later, we'll shape them into sticks, like you get at the store. We can shape the butter? Like the clay we play with? Yep, just like that. Hmm. 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 Farmer Kobe, I have an idea. May I have some butter blocks, please? Uh, sure, take all you need. Thanks. And remember, careful not to let them get too warm. They might melt. Looks beautiful, Emma. Thank you. It's going to be the biggest, best painting I've ever made. <laughs> hey, where's everyone going? Don't you want to see me finish my painting? <gasps> Emma, look at what Jack is making. What in the world is that, Jack? I'm making a sculpture, Emma. Part cow? Part sheep, part horse, part turkey, and all butter. I call it the Big Beautiful Butter Feast. A butter feast? That's not a real thing. My painting is full of real things. You should all come over and see it. Right, Mia? Wow. Mia? Get it, Mia. Everyone said that they loved my painting, but now they're looking at Jack's silly, buttery sculpture thingy instead. 
I think it's cool. And I think your painting is awesome, too. <sighs> well, I'm not going to finish it. What? Why not? Because everyone likes Jack's butterific sculpture more than they like my M amazing painting. Even you. I love your painting. And I love Jack's butter beads. I love them both. That's okay, isn't it? Well, yeah. Never thought about it that way. But what about all those other people? I think they like you both, too. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. You like lots of games to play and different foods, and that's okay. Mm, really? Let's see. I like Pop Tarts and I spy. People can like Jack's Butter Beast and my Harvest Festival painting. People can like a lot of things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh no, what's happening? My big beautiful Butter Beast is melting! What do I do? What do I do? We can't let my brother's awesome statue melt. Come on, Mia. We have to get help so we can save the butter beast. Save the butter beast. Save the butter beast. afraid maybe you wouldn't like my sculpture. I mean, it is sort of weird. Of course I like it, Jack. In fact, I love it. And I love my painting, too. I love them both. Your painting is am amazing. Your statue is butterific. They're different and both great in their own way. Yeah, that's right. It's great to like a lot of things. Right, Mia? Right. <laughs> I like the pumpkin. I like the hayride and the apple cider. <gasps> oh! Let's do a play that has everything we liked about the festival in it. Sounds like fun. We can call the play. Um, Jack and the Pumpkin Stuff. Cool. There's a pumpkin in it. Double cool. There's a Jack in it. <laughs> there once was a giant who lived in a huge pumpkin with the goose that laid golden blocks of butter and his sister who loved to paint. This is gonna be good. That sounds amazing. Okay, players, it's time to play Jack's Super Adventure Challenge. First up is Mia. On your mark, get set, go! Mia's off to a great start. She's reached the bridge. She's down the slide. She's been three times. And she finishes in five fingers. Great job, Mia. Thank you. My turn. Okay, Eddie. On your mark, get set, go. Go, Eddie, go. Kobe, I'm okay. We're playing Jack's Super Adventure Challenge game. Wanna play, Kobe? Um... Oh, we should get everyone to play. Yeah! Come on, you guys. We're all going to play Jack's Adventure game. Sounds like fun. Okay. Cool. But if we're all playing, we need a bigger place with bigger challenges. The, the jungle. jungle! Let's go! Yay! Woohoo! Uh, oh, 
okay. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. you into teams of two. Team one, always ready Eddie, and magnificent Mia. Yeah! Next, team Emma, amazing Emma, and Tessa style Tessa. Tessa. Our final team, super duper Sophie. Yes. And can do Kobe. The first adventure challenge is the outrageous ostrich walk. One team member will walk the line, the other will stay on the ground to help. Both will walk like an ostrich. Wow. Awesome. This looks kind of hard, Sophie. What if I can't do it? That's why we're a team, Kobe. We'll do it together. We'll go first. Tessa does this all the time in her gymnastics class. So I'll walk the line. Huh? But if Tessa knows how to do it, shouldn't she walk the line? I think Emma wants to challenge herself on this challenge. I can do this. Uh, uh. Woohoo! Yeah! Our turn! Okay! Swap! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, guys! Um, you want to do it, Sophie? Sure. I've never done it before, but I'll try. Uh, oh. Whoa! Whoa. <gasps> Whoopsie! <laughs> can really jump! And ribbit, too! In this challenge, one team member will hop from silly pad to silly pad, landing with a... We'll go first! Ribbit! 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 A perfect performance by Eddie! Yeah! Good job! My turn! Ribbit! Ribbit! Okay, Kobe, your turn to try it. Me? Oh, my tummy is feeling kind of funny. Oh, dear. It's no fun playing when you have a tummy ache, Kobe. We can finish the game tomorrow if you're not feeling good. No, it's not that bad. I just don't think I should try jumping. Don't worry. Kobe will rib it while his partner Sophie takes the jumps. I can do that. Great, let's do it. Rib it. Uh Ribbit. Uh, Ribbit. Yes! Nice, nice one, one Sophie. Sophie! Yay! Way to go, Sophie! Good ribbits, too, Kobe. Oh, uh, thanks. Our last challenge! It's the High Climb and Super Slide Challenge! Oh, oh, yeah! I love slides! Looks like fun, huh, Kobe? Actually, my tummy does still feel a little funny. It's okay. We'll just watch. Here we go! Hooray! And the players begin the climb! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Tessa's having... 
having some trouble. Uh, but Ready Eddie is there to steady her. <laughs> I can't get it. Mia can't quite reach. Wait, she's getting some help now. Tessa style. Thank you. Wow, they're all helping each other. They all made it to the top. That was fun. Good job, everyone. You can make it to the top, too. If your tummy was okay, do you think so? It might take a few tries, but I'm sure you could do it. Come on, let's watch him slide down. Here I come! Yeah! Yeah! Sophie, I think I want to try it. I've never done it before, and I'm really nervous, but I want to try it. Yay, Kobe! It's so much fun. Yeah! Kobe, what about your tummy ache? Well, I think my tummy's just feeling nervous. Like it's filling up with butterflies. I get those. Sometimes it even feels like there's birds in there. Does it feel all full, Floppy? Uh-huh. That happens to me sometimes, too, when I'm trying something new. Mine gets all sloshy back and forth, like the ocean. Jumping Jack's Super Adventure Challenge! Makes everyone a little nervous sometimes. That's why we have teams to help each other with our flippy, floppy, sloshy butterfly tummies. I wish I had told you all how I was feeling before. Maybe I could have done the challenges. It's never too late to play this game, Kobe. Huh? We did challenges to get here. Now we do them again to get back home. Uh, Sophie, will you help me? Of course. Okay, here I go. If you are feeling nervous, trying something new, when your tummy's turning upside down, here's what you can do. Just have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. With a hand to hold and a little help, you can do it. <laughs> what an awesome game, Jack. Thanks. I've never hosted an adventure challenge before. Maybe someday I'll have my own adventure challenge game show. And Kobe can write the music for it. Write the music? That makes my stomach kind of flip floppy. But if you guys will help me, I think I can do it. Hooray! Yay! Doing some spring cleaning up here. No problem. Vroom, 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 vroom. Come on, Lucky. You can do it. Come on. Oh, you told Lucky to stay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, he's good at that. Vroom, vroom. Shh. I'm pretending I'm a farmer. Uh, by lying on the grass with a book on your face? The book says farmers get up early in the morning. So I'm pretending it's still dark out and I'm waiting for the rooster to crow. That's a funny sounding rooster. <gasps> That's not a rooster, Eddie. That's Farmer Jay. Being a farmer must be amazing. Yay! <laughs> they clean the barn. Feed the chickens. Take care of the sheep. Ride the tractor. Did you say ride? 
the tractor? <gasps> oh, we should go on a farm adventure. And I know exactly how to do everything on a farm. I learned it from this great book. That sounds fun. Can I feed the chickens? Sure. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yippee! Awesome! Yay! You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. Sheep. Wait! I have to teach you the right way to farming fun! Yeah! Be a farmer. <gasps> Hi, I'm Sophie. How is everyone today? <coughs> I don't know your names, but if it's okay, I'm gonna call you Daisy, and you Sunny, and you Esmeralda, and okay, Sophie, here's how to feed the chickens. Fill a scoop with chicken food and scatter it so they can peck at it. Easy peasy. Have fun. Okay. A barn has to be clean and organized. Everything's put away. In just the right spot. Great. We can do that. If the animals in the barn get in the way while you're cleaning, put them in their stalls, okay? Have fun. So you just drive through the fields, and the tractor will pick the corn for you in nice, neat, straight lines. Have fun! Okay. When it's time to move the sheep to a new field, you just lather all the food in this bucket, and they'll follow you anywhere. Whoa, that's a great trick. Uh-huh. So let them graze for a little bit longer, then use this trick to move them. Okay, now I'm gonna go pick some apples. Have fun! Hmm. Emma did say have fun. Nope, not ready to pick. Not ripe. Not ripe. Mm. <gasps> ripe! Mmm. Feels so good when everything's done by the book. Huh? Oh no. Sophie! What are all the chickens doing out here? You're supposed to be feeding them lunch. I am feeding. Huh? Yeah! <gasps> what is Eddie doing? I am feeding you lunch. I'm just doing it in my own fun way. Awesome! <laughs> Eddie, you're supposed to be collecting corn, not driving in circles and making a mess. Don't worry, Emma. The corn's all going into the wagon. you to move the sheep, not dance with them. I'm doing both. See, when you showed me that trick with the bucket, I... Oh, Bowie! What now? Sophie, you were supposed to put the animals in the stalls when they got in the way. Why didn't anybody listen to me when I told them what to do? 
We are doing what you told us, Emma. We're cleaning the barn. And the animals aren't in the way. They're helping. Bert is helping us lift hay bales into the loft. Show her, Bernie. Ta-da! Everyone's got a job. Thanks, guys. Huh. You're right. This place is just what clean and organized. We did do what you asked us to do, Emma. We just did it Tessa and Kobe and cow style. <laughs> oh no, the chickens. Sophie, they never got their lunch. They did get their lunch. It's a nice day. So I used the scoop to fill a bucket with chicken food and we came out here. <laughs> it was fun. Are you sure they got enough to eat? Daisy, did you get enough to eat? None of this is exactly how I asked them to do it. But I guess it's all working out okay. But what about Eddie and the corn? I caught all the corn in the wagon I was pulling, just like you asked me to. See? But I also made a maze for us to play in when we're done. You told me to have fun, so I did. And look! Mia's having fun too! Yeah, she moved the sheep into a new field. She just did it in her own fun way. Yep. <laughs> if you've got something to get done, a friend can help you through. But the way they like to do it may not be the same as you. So we all do things by the book. Let us do them, test the stuff. I like to add a Sophie twist. Whatever makes you smile. People do things differently than other people do. The different way we do things is what makes us me and you. If stuff gets done, why not have fun? Being different is okay. It's a scientific fact that we all have our own way. People do things differently than other people. a mess here. I guess we better clean up. Okay, here's how we should do it. Uh, I mean, how do you guys want to do it? I'll pretend I'm a chicken and pick stuff up from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, peck stuff up? <laughs> I'll collect the stuff in the wagon like I collected the corn. And I'll lead the way, just like I led the sheep. We'll make it a pickup parade. Well, I've never cleaned up this way before. But it looks like fun. It is fun, Emma. Follow me. Let's do it. The pickup parade. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Jumping Jack, shoot. He scores. This book has some awesome animals in it, Eddie. Look at this one they discovered in the jungle. He looks part zebra and part giraffe. He's called an okapi. He should be called uh, a zebra. <laughs> I'd love to discover a new animal, like this one, an olinguito. Whoa, sorry, I was aiming for the bucket. It's okay, try again, Jack. Jumpin' Jack will now attempt to make the winning basket. He takes careful aim and... Ooh, so close! Oh, well. You can look at my book with us instead, Jack. Yeah! There's pictures of all these cool animals they discovered in the jungle! 
I wish I could discover how to get my ball down. Hmm. <gasps> we'll help you. We can use this ball to knock that one down. Sophie rolls the ball. Eddie kicks it. It hits the bridge and... The winning basket is made! Woo! Yeah! yeah! Together, we can do anything. Maybe even make a big discovery. Like a new jungle animal. Like in my book. Sure. Even that. Yeah. Let's go to the jungle and see what we can find. Okay, let's do it. some fun use our imagination you can be anyone in any situation let's go on an adventure exploring someplace new go near and far together there's so much we can do so hey hey come out and play we're going on an adventure today we're gonna have so much fun use our imagination you can be anyone in any situation Jungle with super smart animal expert Cope and super brave jungle explorer Eddie. We're here to see what kind of new animals we can discover. What are you doing, Jack? I'm going to record all the stuff we do today. Then we can watch it later. Great, cool. Hey, look! Awesome! I'll drive! Let's go! Woohoo! Eating habits of these two amazing creatures are especially interesting to watch. Bologna and mm. jelly is my favorite. Mm. Come and have a sandwich with us, Jack. Okay. Mm. Bologna and jelly. Mm. So tasty. <laughs> Guys, look. Mm. Wow. Huh? It's kind of like a hippopotamus and kind of like a leopard. It's, um, uh, uh, a lepopotamus. Huh? I've never heard of that. That's because we just discovered it. Wow, we did it, Colby. Together we discovered a new jungle animal. <laughs> so what do we do now? Well, scientists are supposed to learn everything they can about a new creature. We'll help you do that. But what if he goes deep into the jungle? No problem. I'm a great explorer. There's no place I can't go. And I'll help you get the first pictures of a genuine lepopotamus. Hey, where did he go? Animal expert Kobe has found some lepopotamus tracks. These prints look kind of leopardy. And hippos like to nibble on bushes. I think I hear it. Over there. <laughs> I think I see him in that pond over there. Come on. There he is. I wish he'd come out of the water so I could get his whole body. Yeah. Any ideas how to do that, animal expert, Kobe? Hmm. Uh, hippos love melons. He might come out for that. Perfect. There's a melon tree right over there. Brave explorer Eddie will swing across the pond to get a melon. <laughs> Brilliant. Now animal expert Kobe and I will follow. Yes! Come on! Um, I don't know if I 
I can! Sure you can, Colby! We're here to help you! Well, okay, I'll try! Gotcha! I did it! Yes, animal experts Kobe has bravely made it to the other side of the pond. Now together, Kobe and Eddie will use melons to try to get the lepopotamus out of the water. Here, lepopotamus, come and get it. Huh? Oh no, a great discovery has disappeared again. Tracks tell us he came this way. There he is, the lepopotamus. Jack? Wow! No, Jack! He's up here! Truly amazing. We found not one, but two lepopotamuses. Huh? It's just a leper. And that's a plain old hippo. So I guess there is no such thing as a lepopotamus after all. We just found two animals who like to play together. But we saw it. And Jack recorded it. Yeah, let's look back and see. Here's when we first got here. Hey, there they both are. And look, now it looks like they're one animal, but they're not. Look at this. The hippo's in the water, the leopard's on the shore. Sorry, Kobe. I guess we didn't help you make a big discovery after all. Yeah, but thanks for trying, guys. Wait, we did make a big discovery. Watch. Kobe, you discovered that you can swing across a pond. And Eddie discovered he knew more about animals than you thought. And I discovered that discovering things is fun. So we all helped each other discover something new. Yeah, cool. So we did. The creature called a lepopotamus. But we discovered lots of stuff, and that's a great big plus. I know more things than I thought. I like to swing an awful lot. I recorded every shot, and we helped each other. Some things may not turn out quite. We helped each other discover all kinds of cool things. And we almost discovered a new kind of animal, a lepopotamus. Oh, I want to help almost discover a new animal too. Can I, please? Okay, sure. But first, let's all go help each other discover some snacks. Okay, then discover some animals. Snack time! <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I wonder if there's a chocolate cookie. Sleepy time. There you go. I'm digging for treasure. Want to help? Shh. You wake up the baby. Oh, sorry. Hmm. That's not going to work. Oh, well. Hey, I found something. Whoa. A compass. Cool. Scientific fact. A compass can help you when you get lost. The baby is trying to sleep. Oops, uh, sorry. Look behind you, Eddie. I think it's a map. Huh? Cool. Whoa, that was just a treasure map I was trying to draw. A treasure map? Uh-huh. But then I remembered, there's no treasure buried in the backyard. 
There's none in the yard, but there's always treasure buried on the desert island. That's right. Maybe your map will point there, Tessa. There's only one way to find out. An island adventure! Woohoo! Yay! Yeah! Woohoo! Quiet! <sighs> sorry, sorry. Thea, do you want to go to the desert island with us to look for buried treasure? No, thanks. My baby needs me here more than you need me there. Okay, see you later, Mia. Bye-bye. See you Bye -bye. later. treasure's buried. That's always where the treasure's buried. But how do we find the X? Uh, can I look at the map, Eddie? Sure. Uh-oh. I think I dropped my compass. I'll be right back. Hmm. I must have dropped it around here. Hey! Oh, yep. Here it is. That an egg? Cool. Come on, Eddie. Let's find the treasure. Be right there. What? Whoa! A baby turtle. I didn't know turtles came from eggs. Hello there. You are so cute. Are you alone? Where are your friends? Where's your family? Aw. Eddie, hurry up! Coming! Gotta go, little guy. I have a treasure to find. I think the map is telling us to go into these trees. What kind of treasure do you think we'll find? I hope it's gold or jewels. I hope it's chocolate. I hope that little turtle's okay. Eddie! This treasure hunt is your best idea ever! Yeah! Zika Zika do! Huh? Oh, yeah, thanks. You okay, Eddie? Yeah, but I left something back on the beach. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up. Uh, okay. Phew! You're okay. But you're still alone, huh? I sure wish you had some friends to keep you company. Well, don't worry. I'll help you find someone. Then, we're back to the treasure hunt. I think... I think we're supposed to march over the coconut! <laughs> or around the coconuts. Maybe the map is upside down, Kobe? Or sideways? I don't know, but I bet Eddie's compass can show us the right direction. Hey, where is Eddie? He said he'd catch up. Eddie! We're waiting for you! Bring your compass! Uh-oh. My friends need me to help with the treasure hunt. I'll go help them, and then come back. You stay here, okay? <laughs> no, you stay here. Help you, little guy. Uh, 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 um, uh, I don't think we're going to find the treasure.
treasure without Eddie and his compass. You're right, Sophie. Let's go back and see what's taking him so long. Good plan. You can't come with me, but you won't let me go without you. My friends need my help to finish the treasure hunt, but you need me too. What should I do? What should I do? I think you need me more than my friends do right now. They'll come back here after they find the treasure. So don't worry, I'm staying right here. In the meantime, we can, um... Uh... What do baby turtles like to do? I don't know what to do with you. But I think you're gonna help me learn what I should do. You're gonna learn it too. Cause it's fun to be the one who's helping, the one who's helping you. Sometimes it's better when you stay, even if you wanna play. When there's a friend who needs your help, you can sit and share some help. It's fun to be the one who's helping. It's fun to be the one who's helping. The one who's helping you. There you are, Eddie. Did you guys find the treasure? <gasps> Here it is. where we started. Hey, I think I already found the treasure. It's this baby turtle. Aww, so cute. So, you mean the treasure isn't gold or jewels or chocolate? No, it's this baby turtle. I named him Eddie Jr. Eddie Jr. looks really happy. Good job taking care of him, Eddie. Thanks. But I wish there were some other turtles around who knew what to do next. Scientific fact. Sea turtles hatch on the beach, then crawl straight to the water. But they usually hatch in big groups. So his friends must have already gone out to sea. So I should help him crawl out to the sea too, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll help you, little guy. Boy, did I love taking care of you, Eddie Jr. But it's time to say goodbye. Look! More treasure! Wow! Cool! Your friends have been here all along! And now it's time for you all to go. Bye, Eddie Jr. I'm glad you found your friend. Goodbye. Bye bye. See ya. Wow, that was incredible. Yeah, amazing. Oh no, you woke the baby again. Sorry, Mia. Want me to hold her for a while? You want to hold the baby? Great, I'll be right back. Right after I get a snack and freshen up my bow. And play some checkers and maybe some jump rope. And build the sand castle with Sophie. Okay, Simon says, hands on hips. <laughs> Simon didn't say do the hula, Eddie. Watch me, Eddie. I can do the hula and hop. Simon didn't say to hula or hop, Mia. Hands on hips and hula hula hop. hop. <laughs> Simon <laughs> says stop. Hula hop. Guys, are you even listening? <sighs> Simon says never mind. I see her. I see bus driver Emily. Hello. Last week, I went on the bus that took us on a tour all around the zoo. And another lady on the bus 
told us all about the animals. She was called a tour guide. Oh, I'd love to drive a bus like that. Tessa style. And I'd love to be a tour guide. Well, come on then. Let's have a tour bus adventure. Tessa and I are going on a super surprise bus tour. Wanna come? Sure, yeah. I love surprises. Let's go. Hula and hop. Hula and hop. fun use our imagination you can be anyone in any situation let's go on an adventure exploring someplace new go near and far together there's so much we can do so hey hey come out and play we're going on an adventure today we're gonna have so much fun use our Marketplace and Bakery, a place where people meet and... So what's the surprise, Sophie? I can't say. It's a surprise. Please be respectful and listen carefully. Each of the places that we go, you'll learn something you need to know. So listen to the things I mention and don't forget to pay... <gasps> Cupcake! Attention. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. <gasps> this is the first clue to the super surprise. So listen up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm very glad to see you is how you must begin. If that is how you greet the queen, then she will let you in. Are we going to meet a queen? Maybe. We're good at it, huh? Mm. Did mm. you guys hear the clue? Mm-hmm. You said the queen will do something when we... Greet someone. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Tech and stop on our tour. The farm! They grow lots of food here. And food is part of the big surprise. Follow me. Welcome to Cirque du Poulet. <gasps> the chicken circus. <laughs> Watch him in a sec. Cool. But first, here is clue number two. The big surprise is really neat. <laughs> but to get in, you'll need a treat. What kind of treat? Something that is red and sweet. An apple. It tastes so good, but do not eat. So we need to find some apples. But we can't eat them. Look, there's some over there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Mm, delicious. <laughs> um, didn't the clue say do not eat? <sighs> yes. Yes, it did. Welcome to the Animal Rescue Center. The veterinarians here help take care of all sorts of animals. <laughs> oh my, that elephant has a cold. The giraffe has a sore throat. And the frog has the hiccups. Sorry you have the hiccups, little frog, but they'll go away soon. Hey, leapfrog! Wanna play leapfrog with us until your hiccups go away? Awesome! <laughs> Ribbit! Okay, everyone, listen up. Time for clue number three. Follow me. Huh? <laughs> Watch and learn this little dance and practice if you have a chance. You'll need to know the dance they do. Soon you may be dancing too. We have to dance? Don't worry, I'll help you. 
circle now, round and round, keeping one foot off the ground. Hold your arms and do si do, then back around and round you go. Slide and kick in one long line and do the whole thing one more time. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Hooray! Bouncy beat. This must be the super surprise. Da 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 da. How? Does anyone know how to greet the queen? Um, hi there, queen. Oh, how close. Oh, I remember. That was clue number one. I'm very glad to see you is how you must begin. If that is how you greet the queen, then she will let you in. I'm very glad to see you. Ha-ha! <laughs> How nice that you listened so well! <laughs> Have fun on Bouncy Beach! Yeah! <laughs> oh, right. Now, the queen is feeling hungry. Does anyone have a treat? Oh, that was clue number two. The big surprise is really neat. But to get in, you'll need a treat. Something that is red and sweet. The queen thanks you for respectfully listening to the clue. Go have fun on Bouncy Beach! Woohoo! Ah. Sorry, we ate our apples. Is there something else we can do for the Queen? Oh, well, uh, there is a little dance that she truly enjoys. Do you know it? We know lots of dances. Is it this one? <laughs> no, that's not it. Don't you two remember clue number three, the dancing sheep? Watch and learn this little dance and practice if you have a chance. You'll need to know the dance they do. Soon you may be dancing too. Um, I guess we weren't paying attention. So I guess we can't go to Bouncy Beach. Come on, you guys. Bouncy Beach is really fun. I'm afraid your friends cannot join you today. They forgot to pay attention and listen to the clues. Oh, well, if our friends can't go, we won't go either. It's no fun unless we're all there. Oh, no, I feel awful. I'm really, really sorry I didn't listen. Is there anything we can do? Um, one second. Okay. No, uh... Her Majesty does not see why. You cannot have another try. I'm very glad to meet you. Is how you greet a queen, it's true. That's the clue that you were missing. And you just had to give a little listen. So listen up is what I'll do. That sounds great and I will too. You'll never know what you might be missing if you don't stop and give a little listen. So listen up is what I'll do. That sounds great and I will too. You'll never know what you might be missing if you don't stop and give a little listen. Tour, Sophie. Bouncy Beach is the best. Yeah, that was fun. Sorry we didn't listen before. Listening is the nice thing to do. We'd like to play Simon Says again. And this time, we'll really listen. We promise. We'll play too. Yeah. Okay, Simon Says, wave your arms. Simon Says, clap your hands. Touch your nose. Uh, Simon didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> good one, Toby. <laughs> hey, guys. I finished drawing my house. Woohoo! Cool. Pretty. Nice. Let's see your drawing, Toby. Oh, uh, I'm not quite done yet. Okay. I made a turkey. Awesome. Ta-da! A sparkle bug. Now are you done, Toby? Almost. Uh, why is this taking?
taking so long? Hmm? Okay, now it's done. What do you think? Whoa, it's us camping! Wow, that was worth the wait, Kobe. I love camping. Me too! That's why I think we should all go camping right now. I know where there's a meadow just like this one, near the farm. Let's go! A camping adventure! Awesome. Yeah! Kobe, we want to get to the meadow. Wow, cool. A stick? We stop for a stick? It's not just a stick. It has a chrysalis on it. A Christmas -less? A chrysalis. I don't know what a chrysalis is, but that just looks like a stick with a lumpy thing hanging on it. It looks like that now, but wait till you see what it's gonna be. Can't you show us now, Colby? Sorry, Mia. Not yet. Some things take time. Can you be patient? You mean wait? It's hard, but I'll try. Okay, everyone. Let's set up camp. All right. Let's put the tents up right here. I'll find a place to put the food. Make sure it's someplace where the mice can't get it, Mia. Okie dokie. Let's build a tent, Tessa. Cool. But wait, don't you want to look at the instructions first? Nah, that takes too long. We can figure it out. Yeah, let's see how fast we can do it, Eddie. Hmm. <laughs> now, how can I make sure the mice can't get into this basket? Help me put a big heavy rock on top of it. But Eddie's busy right now. Maybe Sophie can help me hang it up in that tree branch way up there. But she's busy too. I could wait for her to be done. But that will take forever. I know. I can hide it under the table. Cover it with a blanket and... Ta-da! That didn't take long at all. And the mice will never find it. <laughs> ha! There! All done! Yeah! Come on, let's go help Sophie and Kobe! Okay. Oops. Maybe we should have waited to hear the instructions? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, tents are up. Now let's hike. Let's go! Hi Yay! Let's go! Is that your walking stick, Kobe? No, Sophie, remember? This is my stick with the chrysalis on it. Oh, right. But it sure would make a good walking stick. Yeah, but if we wait for it, we'll see that it's good for something even better than walking. Okay. <gasps> oh, dear. The fence is broken, and the sheep are getting out. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. We better fix that. Yeah, but how? We need a big stick. 
to use this stick to fix the fence? Can we? This isn't an ordinary stick, Eddie. Remember? What if we can be patient? Something is gonna happen with the lumpy thing hanging on it. You mean the chrysalis? Right, the chrysalis. But when is it gonna happen, Toby? Well, I'm not sure. But I know it's gonna be worth the wait. Guys, look what we found! Perfect! Come on, let's fix the fence! No more counting sheep, Sophie. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love hiking. That was fun. Okay, let's see. Uh, hey, what's going on? <gasps> we might get all our food! Hmm, how did they get it? Oopsie. I guess I didn't hide it very well, huh? I could have helped you, Mia. I'm really good at hiding stuff. I know, but you were busy and I didn't want to wait. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Don't worry, Tessa, we're on a farm. There's plenty of food. Yeah, great idea, Sophie. Let's eat. ending to a perfect day. Almost perfect. But I kind of wish I had waited for Eddie to help me hide the food. And I wish we had waited to hear the instructions before putting up our tent. And I wish that the chrysalis on my stick would... Wait, it's happening! The chrysalis is changing! Really? <gasps> wow! What's it doing? Just wait. You'll see. <gasps> it's magic. It's not magic, Mia. It's science. Scientific fact. The chrysalis will turn into a butterfly. If you can be patient and wait for it. Some things take a little time. If you can wait, you just may find Something new you missed before Some things are worth waiting for It's worth the wait Be patient, try to wait and see It's worth the wait Amazing things may come to be It's worth the wait I like to hurry and not the last Come on, let's go! But sometimes if you slow things down You may see wonders all around It's worth the wait Be patient, try to wait and see It's worth the wait Amazing things may come to be It's worth the wait It's worth <laughs> I want to try that beautiful butterfly. Yeah! Let's do it! I'm going to draw a dancing butterfly. Mine's going to be a butterfly asaurus. Roar! Mine will be super sparkly. Mine too. Huh? Oh. You, you first. first. I can, can wait. wait. <laughs> yeah. 